Well, while I'm walking, looks like I'm going to be able to walk in this heat. I can talk about OJ. OJ is getting out today. Well, he's getting on parole. And you may wonder what that has to do with martial arts. I'll tell you what it has to do with martial arts. There was one time, this is around the time of the, uh, the verdict. I was across the street from an OJ rally. I decided to go walk and see uh, what was going on at the OJ rally. And then when I go to leave that, the alley, the rally, somebody comes and he's got 14 other people with him. And he says, say, bruh, what you think about OJ? At that point, let's just say I was not a big OJ fan. But when I saw it was 15 emotional people was asking me what my opinion of OJ was, I said, oh, man, he innocent. He innocent, man. And dude said, yeah, yeah, that's a real brother. And so I got spared a beating. Now, some of you are going to say, oh, he's just, he's saying that he's a sellout and he's, he's making his own race look bad. Yeah, well, I got it from the flip side, too. Because when they gave the verdict, I was at work. And I realized that I was the only black guy standing in that room where people were watching the verdict on TV. And one woman just started yelling and crying like, no, no. I mean, you'd have thought that Nicole was her daughter or something. And I realized I was black. So I dropped off the documents I was delivering. I kind of eased down the steps, went to my supervisor's office and asked if I could go home early. Because, you know, people seem a little tense about this OJ thing. And I'll take leave if I have to, and I got to go home. Yes, that's right. So now you can say I made black and whites look bad. But it doesn't matter. The point is, OJ is a sensitive topic. So, unless you feel like taking a chair to the head or something over Orenthal James Simpson, I suggest you figure out if you get confronted like I did, uh, figure out the best way to get yourself out of that situation safely. Because I don't care how many jump kicks or rear naked chokes you can do. I ain't think I can handle a mob of 15 people. That's all I'm saying. So, you know, that's my story. If you don't believe my stories, I'll see if I can get a martial artist that I know who's known me for years to vouch for me. And you know what? It wasn't for me dodging those emotional OJ people, pro and con OJ. Look, I can, I can, still, I can still walk. I would be on a ventilator right now, probably in a coma. I probably would have gone on to be with the Lord. Yes. Peace.